Welcome guys, this is Claudette with Miss Puff Creative Corner. Today I want to share a couple pieces with you that I got from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree had a lot of cool stuff for Halloween. And I usually don't get into Halloween, but I have two granddaughters. One is less than a year and the other one is a couple months old. So it's like I just got excited about the, um, the Halloween stuff. It's just a lot of cute fun stuff that you could create. So, um... So first off, they had the um, the wire frames for the wreaths, and I got two of the pumpkin ones. Then they had like the witch's hat, and I got two of those. Okay. And I, I'm sure if you get creative enough, you could use these to create um, some Christmas tree wreaths too as well. So let me show you some of the other stuff that I got. So let me bring in some of the wooden pieces that I got. So they had these witches hat. You get eight pieces in this. This is color your own ornaments. So they have the little hole in there and then they have the little twine that you could paint these, color them and hang these up as ornaments. And I think you get a good bit in that. So they have a lot of nice wood pieces for all um, seasons. Then they had this boo wooden sign. And this has three pieces that comes in there. Then they have the um, cat with the arch back. So those are um, ornaments that you could create with, especially with the little ones. You get eight pieces that comes in here. Then I got this skeleton bowl, um, this skeleton, and I think that it's so cute. It has the little hinges that it could be movable. So you could put him however you want. You could paint this and put him in whatever motion you want. It's 18 inches. Then I got these um, jack-o'-lanterns, the pumpkins. And there uh, you get eight pieces in this. And this is nice. I've seen people create different things with these. They put the hat, the witch's hat fit on top of their heads. There's so many different things. People are so creative. Then they had the ghost. And I've seen people took the hat and they make little gnomes with this. They just add a nose there. They made Santa Claus with the hat too put a little fur, fur around here and a little um, round pom-pom um, here and create like a Santa Claus hat and that was cute so so many creative ideas that you could change change these up for all right then they had these larger pieces they had this little ghost <laughs> he's so funny looking right then they had this um, coffin with the trick or treat sign on it then they had a couple haunted house this was a larger one they had like a smaller one to this so they had this haunted house i thought that's pretty neat especially if you paint it black or purple add some little things to the back coming out the windows the doors then they had um, this witch with the cauldron. I really did like the cauldron. I wish they had one by itself. And then they have the witch here. Let me turn it on this side so you'll have a better view. So that's nice. So they have like a lot of awesome wooden pieces. Then they had um, different signs. And I picked, I grabbed this sign here that says, uh, Happy Halloween is the most spooky time of the year. So I got that sign. And then let me just show you some of the ribbons that I got. I got some ribbons and some mesh as well as they had some material. So look at these beautiful colors for the mesh. Those are such fun colors for Halloween, right? 
really nice colors so I pick up a couple I'm not sure exactly if I'm gonna do a read how I'm gonna do it how it's gonna look so I just pick up a couple colors and I thought those were fun colors to start out with I pick up main some more of the black because you know that could be the base and these could be just accent colors then I also grab some ribbon look at this beautiful ribbon that they had so I got two of those can pass up on that and these are 2.5 um, inches by 108 inches and then the um, the mesh was 6 inches by 5 yards and this one this white one here is tool and it's 6 inches by 5 yards too see the other mesh is that um, size too as well then you had this glittery um, orange ribbon and then they have like a black trim into the edge and that's 2.5 by 108 inches and I got it in the purple and then too they also had this one here with the little jack-o-lantern pumpkins and it's in black then I got some um, material so they had the candy corn material so I picked that one up and this one here is how oh, uh, this is 18 inches by 21 inches so I think the materials are the same size and um, that's a nice orange and I really did like this material right here so I got that one fun bright colors then they also had the little black cat on this lime green and I think that is so gorgeous Alright, now I also got some felt shape um, cats, these black cats, and then there are 12 in here. I like the felt shape images that they have because I had did some with some gingers one time and I just stuffed it and did some um, treading around the edges and that came out nice so I like their felt um, images. Then they had these black pom-poms and this is, you get 80 pieces in those. And then they had these um, felt stickers with the witch's hat, the witch's shoes. And you get 15 pieces in that. Then I got some of the glitter glue and this is in like a burnt orange. And I also got some black felt. And this roll is 11.75 by 42 inches. And I went around to a couple Dollar Tree because some of them have so many different things. And I couldn't believe that they had these cookie cutters. And so they have the coffin, the, coffin, the candy, and with like the wrapping. And then they had the pumpkin with the witch hat. So you could use these to do cookies and decorate them all so you could use them to cut out clay and then use them as ornaments and you know and once you use the clay you could also decorate those two as well so the kids could have fun with that so this one had like this ghost this shape right here and um, then this bat I like the shape of that bat this one has a what to say I Oh, you know what? I thought this was a bat, but it looks like it could be teat, right? Like vampire teat. Maybe it could be a bat too as well. And then you have the um, witch's hat. And then you have that skull with the little um, bones to the bottom, the poison sign. So then I got some pumpkins. And I think I'm, I may paint those and do a DIY. So I got some different shapes of the pumpkins. 
and the, and this one right here. So if you guys are new to my channel, you like what you see, consider hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload my latest videos. So, and then they have these eyeballs. They had different colors. I just picked up the red ones. And then also they had these pumpkins and they call them carvable. Like you could carve these pumpkins. I just picked up one of those. I like the shape of that and the size of it. They had them in, uh, at my store, they had them in also in black too as well. Then they had this spider. And I thought he looked real life, right? So I got him. That's a nice size. So while we on spiders, I got these spiders. Those are the orangey and they have glimmer on it. They had black too as well. And I said, well, well, I'll get the orange. And if I want, I could spray one black if I decided um, I didn't want both of them orange. Then I got these smaller spiders. And then they have these wooden stickers. Let's see if I get the glare out. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me see if you could see this a little bit more if I put it on a white. I like that they have the witch, they have the haunted house, they give you two of the ghosts with the, with the words boo and the spiders, and some bats that you could paint on your own. I like that. Then I got some small little ornaments to put on a Christmas tree. I'll create DIYs with those. Then they have these small cute candy corns. And then I got some lights that could go, you know, maybe on my Christmas tree and their skull lights. One is not light up. You could see that it's like white skull. So that was nice with that. Then they had these large pieces here that you really could paint and decorate this. They had this large boo and then they had this large eek. So I think I got enough pieces to last me well into next year. You know, because sometimes when you, if you see something at a Dollar Tree, you have to get it because it's like, I went, they had these cute lanterns and I went back a couple days after and they were all gone and there was like these orange glass lanterns uh, jack-o-lanterns and they were all gone so if you see it just grab it you could put it up for next uh the following year and two another good thing is once the season is over go to the dollar tree because they usually have them discounted and get your stuff that way too as well so if you like what you see here today go ahead and smash that like button down below thank you guys for tuning in this is claudette and i'll catch you guys on my next video